What influence means to me is it's all about trailblazing. It's about being a game changer and changing agendas, quite often using your networks to make that happen. I think good communications is fundamental to an organisation's success. And a couple of examples that spring to mind are the Need to Know campaign that IAG has launched to take people through the changes in home insurance. It's going to be massive over the next few years and I think they've been really brave. They've taken a leadership position, they didn't need to do that and they've been brave and they're going to lead people through those changes. And the one that I think of that didn't go so well and cost the company, I believe, reputationally, was the Telecom XT outages. I think they didn't hand that, handle that as well as they could have. They should have fessed up and fronted up a whole lot earlier. And I think in the end it cost them reputational brownie points. They lost customers, they blamed their partner. And I think that that's an unfortunate thing. It's a bad place to go. I have a whole bunch of women who I think are incredibly influential and that I really admire. And I think of young Malala Yousafzai, who was 11 years old when she got shot for her beliefs in, uh, in women's education in Pakistan. And I think that is incredibly brave. For me, she's an agenda changer and someone who really puts it out there for what she believes. And then I think of people who are in arts and culture, and I just love Dame Judi Dench, who is the only Bond girl at 78 years of age who doesn't have legs up to her earlobes and rocked it in the role of M and just proves that you can still be spunky and gutsy at that age. I love that about her. And I think of people like Susie Moncrief who started up World of Wearable Arts. I think she's extraordinary. Um, and Catherine Wilson is somebody I really admire. I always wear her shoes. There's even one named after me. And um, I just love her. I think she's someone who's just motivated and is going out there to get things done and change the world in her area. I think she's quite extraordinary. Other women I admire are people who have achieved on the world stage, Kiwi women who have achieved on the world stage. And I think of Dame Judith Mayhew Jonas, who has been really instrumental in refocusing London and making that an extraordinary city. It's a wonderful achievement. And she's clearly a world-class New Zealander. And people like Helen Clark, to go from being Prime Minister of New Zealand, our first elected female Prime Minister, to running the United Nations Aid Division, that's pretty extraordinary.